Most, if not all people, like to think that they are free thinkers. But how many of us truly are? How many of us think for ourselves without blindly believing ideologies that were forced upon us by authority figures? How many of us who claim to know what is going on in the world are not manipulated by the misinformation the mainstream media is spreading? Or how many of us are willing to question our beliefs and opinions when presented with evidence that contradicts them? Not so many. But unless we learn to think for ourselves, critically evaluate information and reconsider our beliefs and opinions, how can we grow in wisdom and improve the conditions of our lives? It's impossible. For this reason, I would like to offer a practical free-thinking guide consisting of seven powerful tips that can assist anyone in their journey to wisdom. So, here they are. 1. Doubt your beliefs. The first and most important step to becoming a free thinker is to doubt the beliefs that were handed to you by society. Whatever your beliefs are, religious, political, philosophical, and so on, be sure to question them and start your quest for truth from scratch. 2. Rebel against authority. A lot of people blindly believe and follow what external authority tells them is right and true. They don't think for themselves, rather, they let others think for them. A free thinker, however, does not adhere to any dogma just because someone else said so, no matter how much power or status that person has. Instead, a free thinker questions everyone and everything and is open to accept any answers that point to the truth, even if they contradict those of authority figures. 3. Observe your behavior. Although we tend to think that we act out of free will, many of our actions are actually carried out on an unconscious level. In other words, we are victims to our habits. To become a free thinker, you need to be aware of your thoughts, feelings, and actions. How? By observing those things. Once you do that, you will be able to bring into light your unconscious thinking and behavioral patterns, which in turn will allow you to consciously respond to the present moment, instead of reacting in ways that your habits compel you to. 4. Escape the herd. Another important step to becoming a free thinker is to detach yourself from groupthink. You see, people tend to conform to how others think and act just so they can feel liked and accepted by them. But oftentimes, those ways are harming themselves and the world. By escaping the herd mentality, and by that I mean not mindlessly complying to group thinking and behavior, you will be able to think way more clearly and make far better decisions in life. 5. Research a free thinker understands that he or she does not know everything and that there is much to learn from others. Hence, in his or her search to discover the truth about any topic, a free thinker tries to gather information from as many sources as possible, such as books, articles, and documentaries. Unlike most people, however, a free thinker Make sure that those sources as a whole present a variety of different, even conflicting, opinions and perspectives to avoid getting stuck in informational echo chambers, as well as develop a spherical understanding of any topic under discussion. 6. Use critical thinking. Learning how to think critically is of utmost importance to free thinking. If you can't analyze and critically assess the information you come across, you'll not only be unable to understand whether it's true or not, but you'll also be an easy target for manipulation. To think critically, there are several tools you can use, such as evaluating whether that information stands to logic and is backed up by scientific evidence, or whether it resonates with your emotional intelligence and experiential understanding. Of course, all those tools are flawed. But if we are sincere in our search for the truth, they can be of great use in helping us to approach it. 7. Be open to change. 
Last but not least, a free thinker is a person with a flexible mind. That is, a person who is not locked in a particular belief system or ideology. Rather, a free thinker is open to receiving new information and most importantly, ready to change his or her mind when presented with evidence that contradicts his or her opinions and beliefs. A free thinker doesn't blindly accept anything yet at the same time doesn't shy away from engaging in ideas that challenge his or her worldview.